Hey, so I'm Lucas Ainsworth um, with Intel Labs User Experience Research, um, and today I'm showing off the Data Monster. So this is uh, an open source robot kit um, that's very simple to build. Uh, we have the patterns available online. Um, the Data Monster acts out um, however it's feeling through uh, interactions with, with physical objects, and it also gets its moods from the internet. So this one's checking Twitter, and if it gets a tweet, he just gets excited. Um, but the main idea is you have you have basic uh, programs for expression that can be modified by things that happen in the real world. So it can be happy or sad about traffic or weather or anything like that. Um, and the Data Monster is built on the Galileo prototyping board. So this is a new board um, from Intel that's a partnership with Arduino. So you program it using the Arduino IDE. It's very easy to program. <laughs> um, so this board is very easy to program. Um, I'm a designer by training and I was able to program this board. Um, so this is a prototyping board that can be used, uh, it's essentially a reprogrammable brain that can be used for anything. You can use it for robotics, you can use it to prototype the Internet of Things. And so what exactly is going on here with the, with the data, mo data monster? What so the data monster has two things that it interacts with. One is visual. So these are three IR sensors. The next version might have a webcam and OpenCV, but for simplicity, these are three just distance sensors. Um, so they're just measuring objects in space, and it responds to those. And then it's connected to the internet where it's checking ThingSpeak, uh, which is an online repository for data. So you can send any data you want from your Nest thermostat, from, um, from sports scores, to anything, to ThingSpeak, and then uh, listen to that data. This monster specifically is looking, listening to Twitter and mentions of Data Monster on Twitter. So every time someone mentions Data Monster on Twitter, he just triggers a cue, and his movement is much less dampened. So, uh, can you tell me where the ports are available and where we can uh, maybe download the laser cutting tokens yes. for this? Yes. So, the, the source code uh, for this guy and the laser cutter files are on maker.intel.com. Um, there's a link there to the GitHub repository, which has the software. Uh, the boards are currently available on Mauser Electronics, um, but hopefully soon will be also available on uh, makershed.com awesome. and hopefully other places. Thank you so much. Great, thank you.